Hey guys, it's Mr. Guns. Today we're doing a 50 cal showdown video. If you like the video and enjoy it, then uh, hit that subscribe button and like it. America! Today with our 50 cal showdown, we're going to look at the Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum out of the Smith 500. We're going to look at the 50 Beowulf. We had a customer that was nice enough to donate one of his home built guns for us to use. And we have the 50 BMG out of the Big Daddy here, the Barrett M107. So let's take a look at the rounds. So first off, we have the uh, Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum. We're going to be running it out of the Smith & Wesson Model 500. It's a really nice gun, feels good in your hand. That's like a 10, 10 and a half inch barrel on it. Pretty serious round coming out of it. We're gonna be running the, uh, today, it's one of the lighter rounds. These things can go up to 700 grains. This one's a 325 grain Federal Fusion. Uh, that's what we just happened to have available at the time. It's kind of a, a lead core copper jacket round. Uh, so let's check out the 50 Beowulf. Our next round is the 50 Beowulf. We have this rifle that a customer was kind enough to let us use. 16-inch uh, barrel AR style platform. It, the round that we're using is a 200 grain ARX Inceptor. Uh, kind of a hunting round. Again, it's not the, the heaviest round you shoot in this caliber, but it should be pretty fast. The, the 50 Beowulf is very similar to the 500 Magnum. They have similar muzzle velocities coming out, but the, uh, the, the 50 Beowulf burns a little slower takes a little more time to get up to the same energy as it does in the shorter barrel with the 500 Magnum. Can't wait to see how they perform. Last but not least, we have the 50 BMG. The big daddy of them all in the Barrett M107 semi-auto. Uh, it's the higher end of the Barrett semi-auto rifles. There's also the M82. This one's built for a suppressor. Uh, has some titanium internals. It's a little bit lighter gun than the other ones, although it's extremely heavy. As you can see, dramatically larger round than the other two, so it should be a lot of fun. Let's go shoot them and see what it looks like. All right, so let's run this 50 Beowulf. I've got some uh, concrete we're gonna punch down there. I've got some water balance. I've got some uh, soda bottles. So uh, let's see what it'll do. All right, so uh, it's time for the Gallagher shot with the watermelon down there. So we're gonna see how it goes. Oh, wow. Kinda hard to tell, but there's watermelon 40 yards away over there. Oh, wow. All right, let's go from this direction. Sweet. All right, last, let's see if we can punch this cinder block. It is kind of a light round, but uh, we'll see what it'll do. So the 50 Beowulf surprised me. I enjoyed that gun a lot more than I expected. I've not spent a lot of time shooting things like 458 SOCOM or other really fat rounds in an AR-15, and I found it really enjoyable, like to the point that I'm interested in, in buying one for myself. But you can see, based on the footage, that it did uh, transfer a ton of energy. It's a slower moving round relative to you know something fast like a 50 BMG or, or a rifle round. This 50 or 500 Magnum rather should be very similar 
uh, to the same performance. The ballistics are really similar. So we're going to load it up and uh, see what it does to these watermelons and soda bottles. All right, let's check out the watermelon. Oh, that was a mess. So that first watermelon went everywhere. Let's see what it does to this second one, and then we'll move on to shooting some cinder blocks. Wow, that one really exploded. All right, so we're gonna move on and just bust the cinder block that it was sitting on. That totally blew the cinder block apart as well. So this thing penetrates just like you'd expect it to. It's like that 50 Beowulf did too. It's pretty good. So there's no way around it, guys. This is a big ass handgun. I think that um, it's a little bit gimmicky, honestly. You know, this was Smith & Wesson's answer to the 454 Kasul being put out. I think Ruger did that in a Red Hawk like in the 80s. Uh, so they couldn't stand not being the largest handgun in the world anymore with the 44 Magnum, uh, kind of like Dirty Harry said with his Model 29. So they answered with this 500 Magnum. I think if, if that's what you want, you want the biggest handgun in the world, uh, it's probably pretty cool. Other than that, I don't see a really a practical use except maybe handgun hunting or bear defense or something like that. Uh, for me, I think I would prefer a 44 mag. It's a lot of recoil. This is expensive to shoot. Um, I just I just think it's a novelty. So I think it's for the guy that has a lot of other guns and may just want something neat or something different. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this guy to bed and we're going to move on to the 50 BMG. So here we are with the uh, Barrett M107 and 50 BMG. I'm not exactly certain what the ammo is. I just have a bunch of ammo laying around. It is all the same ammo. Uh, I'm just not sure of the grain and all. So we're going to take some shots of the cinder block. It's late in the afternoon here in Texas. Uh, we've gone from like surface of the sun temperature to just basically like an oven. So I'm going to try to shoot at some of these cinder blocks and uh, watermelons. We're going to see what happens. It's already chambered. I got it on safety. So we're just going to go ahead and go. Pretty much turned the cinder block to liquid. Hey, look, there's a soda bottle. There's another soda bottle. Here's another soda bottle. Oh, took down my soda bottle targets, so I guess we're going to have to move to the watermelon. Oh,
So there you have it. When it comes to power, there's nothing stronger than this 50 BMG. It does kick pretty hard. Feels like somebody's bouncing a basketball off your face when you shoot it. But it's still fairly comfortable. And uh, I don't know, I love this gun. This is my personal rifle. Uh, it's one of my favorite guns I own. Hey guys, it's Mr. Guns. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was cool, go ahead and like and subscribe. We should have a bunch of cool stuff coming in the future too. Uh, or follow us on Facebook and Instagram if you just want to get good gun deals or see what we got going on. The links will be in the descriptions below. So thanks for watching the video and we hope you'll follow us in the future.